So for the last month or so, I've been using some new accessories that I carry with me on a daily basis, both from a tech and productivity standpoint and other ones that just kind of go with your tech but fit from an aesthetic standpoint. So in this video, we're gonna be going over all those and see if these are some items that you wanna carry in your pocket or an everyday carry or add it to like whatever you use at an office, at a desk or on the go. But before we get started, if you guys have been following the channel, you might be aware, you might not be aware, but Paperlike has been a channel sponsor and a supporter for the better part of like 18 months now at this point. So shout out to Paperlike. I absolutely love their team, love their product. And as a thank you to you guys, because if you guys don't watch these videos, they don't sponsor the channel. So they actually recently released a pro bundle, which is two Paperlike screen protectors, their new cleaning kit, and then Apple pencil grips, both in a large and a smaller form factor. And they were nice enough to give us two codes. So if you guys use this code right here on the screen, Go to the checkout, put the code in, you get it absolutely free, and this code will work twice over. So the first two people that use this code are gonna be able to get the Pro Bundle from Paperlike absolutely free, free shipping. So definitely check it out, and if you guys are a little bit too late, it's still gonna be the first link in the description down below if you guys do wanna check out some Paperlike stuff. But without further ado, let's talk about these accessories, and shout out Paperlike for always, always supporting the channel. So let's quickly brush over the iPad that I use with me every single day as my computer, as my tablet, as my pretty much my everything. Like if it made actual phone calls, I would probably just forego the iPhone totally. But the iPad that I use with me is the baseline M1 12.9 inch iPad Pro, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and I have it in that space gray colorway. I'm excited to see what Apple does with the 2022 iPad Pro that's probably gonna be released in that October timeframe, or at least announced in that timeframe. I had a question that I posed on Twitter asking you guys like, what would you wanna see from a next generation iPad Pro from a hardware perspective? Because from a software perspective, we know we're gonna get iPad OS 16, that's gonna come standard on all the iPads moving forward. So from a hardware standpoint, what else could Apple add or do to the iPad Pro to make you think like, hey, I have an M1 iPad Pro, but now I need that M2 iPad Pro. So leave some comments down below in terms of hardware and exclude the M2 because the M2 is probably, you know, 99% gonna be inside the iPad Pro. So from a visual hardware standpoint, right, what are they gonna do to the iPad to differentiate itself from the last generation? Are they gonna make it thinner? Are they gonna give us a 14 inch version? Are they gonna move the camera from portrait to landscape mode? Are they gonna change the cameras in the rear? You know, like, I, in my opinion, for the most part, Apple has reached peak tablet from a visual hardware standpoint. So I'm wondering what else they could do to really kind of entice people coming from the M1 going to a new iPad Pro in 2022. So that is the iPad that I have and leave some comments down below of like what you guys would want out of that iPad overall. On the iPad itself, we have the Magic Keyboard, obviously. We have a paper length screen protector, obviously. And then Apple Pencil 2, every now and then it either is on there or it's not, depending on what I'm doing in the day. So moving away from the iPad itself and talking about an accessory that I've been using for the better part of a month now with the iPad Pro is a new SSD. It's a half terabyte SSD by a company called Fixero. I've never heard of them before, but I saw it. It looked really cool. It literally looks like an Xbox or an Xbox One S, I think it is. It's pretty much just a USB-C SSD. From a read and write speed, standpoint it works perfectly I believe it gives you up to 2,000 megabytes I haven't gotten quite there I'm more maxed out at one gigabyte per second transfer speeds with this fixer 512 SSD but it works great it works absolutely amazing with iPad OS 16 I've been kind of reorganizing everything from a back-end standpoint to actually save some of these video files and save some of the b-roll that I've taken over the years of certain items so having a SSD and now the fact that LumaFusion can work directly off an SSD really saves me a lot of time and like headache when it comes to only having 128 gigs of internal storage on the iPad Pro, because now with these videos getting a little bit longer, being done in 4K 60, depending on slow-mo shots, you know, these get to about eight to 10 gigs. So with nine, 10 videos, I'm pretty much maxed out when it comes to the iPad Pro internal storage. So having an extra half terabyte of SSD storage and a cool, nice form factor that's very light, very sturdy, Highly recommend it. I'm gonna link it down below if you guys do wanna check it out. I kinda of like like the aesthetic of it looking like a Xbox, you know, Xbox One One S versus the classic T5, T7, or SanDisk one. Overall, I do highly recommend it, and it comes with a nice USB-C to USB-C cable, but also on the other end, it does have a USB-A adapter that's directly connected to that USB-C cable, which is always a welcome addition, just in case you are plugging into a device that doesn't have a USB-C port or enough USB-C ports for you. 
So that is by Fixero. Absolutely love it. Check it out if you guys want to. The next item is actually that cleaning kit that I mentioned in the very beginning from Paperlike. So they brought out their Pro Bundle, which I mentioned before, which gives you two screen protectors of any iPad size that you want. It brings this awesome cleaning kit, which is an all-in-one cleaning kit. You don't have an extra microfiber cloth. It's an all-in-one situation. So all you do is you spray your little water solution, and then with that device itself, or with that item itself, you use that same exterior, which is totally surrounded by microfiber, I guess, cloth or casing, I guess you would call it. And it's perfect to just clean screens, clean the back of phones. It's exactly what you would want it for. Tiny little form factor, and you're never gonna lose that microfiber cloth, which I think I've lost like 50 microfiber cloths over the years because I've had a ton of them, and now I'm down to like one single one. But this one by Paperlike is absolutely amazing. If you want just an all-in-one, something that you're never gonna lose, cleaning solution for your tech devices, Paperlike, they got you covered. So the next three items that I'm gonna mention is by a company called Sandmark. And Sandmark is actually more well known for their iPhone and smartphone camera lenses. They're actually a competitor to Moment, I believe. They do the same exact thing. So you get an actual iPhone case or a Pixel Pro case or whatever the case may be. Haha, <laughs> excuse the pun. And then they have an abundance of different lenses that you can buy after the fact, like fisheye lenses, you know, ultra wide lenses, macro lenses, things like that for you to be able to use your iPhone and use it more so like a main camera or a traditional kind of camera with exterior lenses. But what I have is actually part of their new leather collection. So I have their AirPods Pro case, which again, this is all leather. It smells amazing, great to the touch, very soft, and it's gonna protect everything perfectly. So I have their AirPods Pro case, which is very easy to install, very self-explanatory, keeps everything protected, and it has a little sticky part for the actual cap portion, just so it doesn't fall out at all. And it's very easy to take off, doesn't leave any residue. Then they also have one for their AirTag, so an AirTag keychain, also by Sandmark. And then finally, my Apple Watch Band, actually I've been using it for at least 45 days. It is now my new favorite leather band for any Apple Watch. I have the Apple Watch Series 5, or 42 millimeter, and I've been using the Sandmark leather one for about a month and a half. I love it, I've been using it in the pool, in the shower, I never take it off. It has worn very, very well, and I like it in this very like dark matte black colorway absolutely love it. Again, I'm going to link everything down below if you guys do want to check it out. And then another item that I have is by a company called Momax. You guys have heard about it in the past. They're the ones that had that translucent MagSafe battery pack that you put on the back of iPhones, which I absolutely loved. But that one, it was cool because it was translucent, but there was two things wrong with it, or I guess two things that I wish could have been improved. One was the fact that it charged via lightning cable, right? So if you don't have a lightning cable, which I guess isn't that crazy. If you have an iPhone, you probably have a spare lightning cable but I'm under the impression or I want everything to be USB-C all things. This one is actually USB-C powered and the actual stand built into it is formed a little bit differently and it works much, much better. But same idea, 5,000 milliamp hours, charges your iPhone at five watts because it doesn't have MFI support, but it is MagSafe compatible. And then it charges your AirPods Pro if you want to. And if you do have Samsung devices or anything outside of the Apple world, it'll charge up at 7.5 watts. So that's by Momax. I love their MagSafe battery packs. And I believe this one is actually a little bit thinner, but a little bit wider as well. But it'll still fit all of your iPhone 13 lineup devices from the mini to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And then lastly, I had to put the Ridge Wallet back in here. I know I mentioned it in a video about two, three weeks ago, but I've been loving this Ridge Wallet. Now, I was under the impression that Ridge, they, you know, they sponsor a bunch of YouTubers all the time. They're very expensive, honestly, for what they are. Like they're like a hundred and, I think they're around a hundred, 120, but you can get up to like 175 bucks with these depending on the build material that you have. But mine is aluminum, I have it in the matte black colorway. And I'm surprised how much I liked it, honestly. I really wanted to get into the MagSafe wallet space, but after a while I learned that I'm still in a situation where I need at least four cards, sometimes more. So MagSafe wallets from any company, whether it's Apple or third party ones, they are not gonna fit more than four regular cards. And if you have like metal cards or anything like that, you know, you're gonna fit two, max three. So with this Ridge wallet, I'm able to carry all eight cards that I have with me. So it's usually like a credit card, a debit card, my ID, a PBA card, my insurance card, like things of that nature, which I always wanna have with me. So now those are always on there. Oh, and a Metro card. Like that's something that I need with me at all times. So the Ridge wallet, it's very, very simple, right? You throw all your cards in there. You put your main two cards on the front and on the back for easy access. It has that little like thumb hole to push the cards out. Very, very simple, but very sturdy, very quality. And I'm just surprised how much I'm actually liking it overall. So Ridge wallet, highly recommend at this point. They aren't just a sponsor every YouTuber or every social media brand. I guess there's a reason why they've been around for such a long time and why they're in so many videos. It's because they have the money from everything that they've sold in the past and currently. So Ridge Wallet, they know what they're doing. They have a great product. If you guys do want to check it out, also link down below. But that is going to do it for this video, everybody. I just wanted to show off some things that I've been using over the past month or so, some new accessories that I haven't shown off before. 
I guess I could call this an everyday carry, but these are just things that I have with me at all times, right? You got the key fob for the AirTag, you know, the Apple Watch Band, which is always on me, AirPods Pro case, always on me, the Paperlike Screen Protector Cleaning Kit, always on me as well, at least recently in my backpack, iPad always with me, obviously. These are just items and products that are with me on an everyday basis that help me from a productivity and just from an aesthetic standpoint, right? Sometimes it doesn't always need to do something to help you save time. Sometimes it's just there because it looks cool, like the Sandmark stuff that I've been showing off. But that is gonna do it for this video, everybody. If you did make it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know that you made it to the end. Stay tuned for some news that we have happening on the channel. And also, shout out Paperlike for always hooking us up, always keeping us protected. And again, if you guys are the, one of the first two people to get to that code, congratulations. If not, still highly recommend them, link down below. But if you wanna watch some more iPad OS 16 or more iPad Pro accessories, click on one of these videos right here. But until next time.